is from one of my viewers, Emily Martin. And she says, can you show me how to take the sound out of a video and do a voiceover in Windows Movie Maker? Yes. Can probably do that, Emily. Can you do it now, please? Yeah, all right. Buy me. Give that bloke a chance. Ninja. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Yes, and in this episode, I am indeed going to show you how to remove the sound from a video and do a voiceover, all within the gift of Windows Movie Maker. Now, it is a wee bit difficult, a wee bit fiddly, but I have every confidence in you, man. I know you can do this. And this is how. Okay, so let's open Windows Movie Maker. Now, before we start, if the bottom of your editor looks like this, you are in what is known as a storyboard mode. But for detailed editing, you need to be in the timeline mode. So just click here to change it. You can also change it in the view menu up here. OK, now we're in the right mode. Let us begin. Now, because of the limitations of Windows Movie Maker, we're going to have to do this thing in two stages. So let's begin with stage one adding the music background. First, let's import our video and music files. To do this, we can either click on File and Import, or we can click on the Import Media Items button there, or you can even just drag and drop them onto Movie Maker like this. Once your files are in place, Drag the video down to the timeline and I'll just click on the zoom up button a bit so we can see the project better. Now we can't see the sound here so just click on this and it appears. Now the sound that comes with the video is a bit unpleasant so I don't want to use that. So I'll right click on it and select mute. If we play it now, there's just silence. Now the music I want to overlay is this WAV file here. So I'll just drag it down to the audio music line here. And I'll play it. Now as you could hear, the music did not start straight away. There was a bit of silence here. So I'll just grab the end of the file and drag it in to trim off the silence. And then push the file back to the start again. And now when I play it... Very nice. Now you will notice that when the video has finished, the music hasn't. It carries on. So we will have to trim it to size. So just place your cursor at the end of the video click on the audio file and then press the split button. This will cut the audio file at that point. Then we can right click on the portion we don't need and remove it. Now the music stops with the video. But it does so a bit suddenly. So I'm going to right click on the file and choose fade out. Now the music fades nicely. So now we have our clip with the musical background and we need to render it into a video. So click File and Publish Movie. Publish for playback on computer and I'll leave the title as Movie and I'll publish it to my desktop. Next, Best Quality for Playback and Publish. Windows Movie Maker will now produce the video which we will use in stage 2. So for stage 2 we need to start a new project in Windows Movie Maker and then import the video you made in stage 1. Drag it down to the timeline and I'll just zoom it up a bit. 
We now need to narrate it. So plug in your microphone, then click on Tools and Narrate Timeline. Then when ready to start your narration, click here and speak. And down on the riverbank, under the shade of the trees, the little water elves from Dingley Dell crouch under the leaves as they hide from the hippocrocomuses. When you have finished, click Stop, then Save, and your narration will appear as a WAV file here. It doesn't have to stay here, of course. You can move it around, or even chop it up if you wish. But for this video, I'd quite like it in the middle. There. Now, if we play the video... And down on the riverbank, under the... You can hear that the music continues to play behind the track, but it's at the same volume. It would be nice if we could reduce the volume when the voice is speaking. We can do this by placing the cursor on the video at the beginning of the narration and splitting it, and once again at the end. As you can see, splitting the video also splits the audio, and we now effectively have three audio clips the middle one of which we can now reduce the volume of by right-clicking and selecting Volume. And I'm going to reduce it to about a quarter. If we play it now, and we can hear the volume decrease when the narration cuts in. Now that does work, but the decrease in volume is rather sudden. A problem which repeats at the other end. Pacrocomuses. It would be nice if we could have a gentle fade into and out of the lowered volume. Unfortunately, this can't be done with Windows Movie Maker. However, we can fake it. And here's how. If we now place the cursor back on the split here, and click it back, say, five or so frames. I'll just zoom in so you can see it a bit better. I'm now going to click on there and split it. And now, take it back another five frames, and split it again. And back another five, and split it once more. So I now have effectively three audio clips before the main clip at quarter volume. So what I'm going to do now is progressively reduce the volume in each of those clips. So right click, volume. It's at full volume, so I'll knock it down to about there. And on this one, a wee bit more. And on the final one, a wee bit more again. Now you may have to experiment with the actual volumes to get them right, but let's play it and see what we've got. And Well actually that's pretty good. And of course you need to do exactly the same thing at the other end to bring the volume up. The leaves as they hide from the hippocrocomuses. So now just render to video and this is what we get. And down on the riverbank, under the shade of the trees, the little water elves from Dingley Dell crouch under the leaves as they hide from the hippocrocomuses. So there we have it, we can now remove the sound from videos and do voiceovers all within Windows Movie Maker. I am so happy. Igor! Whoa. Dance for me. How groovy was that? And there'll be more groovy-licious grooviness for you here next time on the Extremely Groovy Media, Media Channel. Channel.
Nietzsche.